shit. It's already 10 a.m. I told myself I would get some sleep so I can dedicate the whole day applying to jobs. <sighs> Meh. Maybe I should do it tomorrow. I uh, can't. Knowing me, I would just spend the whole day playing SSO again until the next day. It's already been three weeks since I had that conversation about cutting my funds with mom. If I keep going on like this, I'll be out of money and we'll have to move back to their house. Maybe going homeless would be better than to deal with this whole mess. Or maybe I should just end. Huh? I suddenly received a notification from a job mailing list that I subscribed to a week ago mentioning manga within its preview text. Usually, I would just ignore it while playing since almost everything I've gotten so far was nothing but hard labor jobs. But a job that has to do with manga... Well, that's what I'm talking about. It must be the easiest job in the world. And so I closed my game and switched over to the tab where it gave me the job listing with additional information. According to the job listing, the job is part-time as a sales associate at a manga cafe. Ha, <laughs> nice! Although it looks like I will need to apply in person. <sighs> I haven't written a formal job letter in years. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. I'll just copy the format from another letter online. And so, that's what I did. It roughly took me about an hour to perfectly form the letter to seal it with a clean envelope. I placed the letter in the back of my pocket and just wore the same clothes that I usually wear. It's not like people see or notice me considering most of my outings are in the afternoons. And so, at the strike of noon, I pulled myself together and went off on the greatest adventure yet. Getting a job. Fun. <laughs> right? I looked up the location beforehand to check where it was. Apparently, it was around Akihabara. The haven and holy ground of all weebs. The only location where a manga cafe would need to hire two people to manage all the weeb customers that go through their doors. But I'm not surprised in the slightest. According to maps on my phone, it was about an hour ride by train plus walking. Not too bad, I guess. For the most part, it could be like two hours or something, which at that point, I would just give up on even thinking of applying for a job that might pay with little wage. I paced myself and made my way to the closest train station that was about 20 minutes away from my apartment. The crowded station kind of made me feel self-conscious due to my social anxiety that I accumulated over the years of being inside all day. I guess some people would call someone like me a hikikomori or neat, but I think his label like that on me is kinda extreme. <sighs> Whatever I guess. The train suddenly arrived as I was about to glance over at the time. I slowly made my way into the crowded Tokyo train and sat quietly as I waited for the train to stop at Akihabara station. The train ride itself was about half an hour. By the time I was done browsing Twitter and chatting with my friends on Discord, the train speakers announced that we have arrived at Akihabara station. I gathered my things and made my way out of the train and into the main streets of Akihabara. There was anime and manga as far as the eye could see, followed by a whole bunch of weebs roaming around with their anime merchandise. I love anime, but I could never find myself publicly carrying that stuff around with me. But after some time browsing around and window shopping, I finally arrived at the manga cafe that I was planning on applying. My feet felt frozen as my mind started freaking out. I had doubts that I could even do this, but... I told myself if I didn't, I would have to move back. Just that thought alone pulled the last bit of strength I had and pushed me through the doors. Welcome to Doki Doki Manga Cafe! How can I be of... huh? That voice? It sounds familiar. I looked over at the corner of the cafe where a girl arranging some manga looked my way. She had this warm, calming smile, as though I was no stranger to her. I looked her in the eyes and realized something. Hold on a sec. You gotta be kidding me. It's... Hey, you're that guy from the convenience store. What brings you here, huh? Out of all the girls in the city. Why does it have to be her? God must really hate me. Oh, uh, I was going to apply for the position you guys had open and stuff 
Really? That's great! Do you have your resume and job letter with you? If not, that's totally fine. Uh, uh um, yeah. I hesitantly grabbed the envelope from my back pocket and handed it over to the familiar girl. She walked right over and took it from my sweaty little hands with a smile. Don't look so nervous. I'll make sure to put in a good word for you, okay? She left without another word and headed towards the back. I guess the manager's office is in that direction. While I waited for her, I took a look at my surroundings and imagined an average day at work. I was optimistic and thought that maybe over time, I would open up and start socializing a bit more. Maybe if I got this job, I could find friends in Tokyo with similar hobbies. After a while of daydreaming of all the positive possibilities, the girl called out my name. Aisha, uh, right? Well, uh, sorry to say, but the manager won't be coming in today, so I can't really give you a response right now. But don't worry, we'll try to get back to you by the end of the week, if not sooner. And like I said, I'll make sure to put in a good word for you. I believe in you. Uh, oh, uh, it, it's okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be going now. Alright, thanks for stopping by. Take care. And with a light nod, I left the store. I wasn't sure what to make out of the situation. Based on how the girl treated me, she must be serious about putting in a good word for me. I guess you can find some good people in Tokyo, huh? Well, this calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I mean grinding and doing some dungeon raids with my friends in SSO. I'm kind of excited. I want to tell Amada and the guys about this. I bet DK will just keep on teasing me about that girl. Oh man, and out of everyone in the group, he's the only one who really knows how to get on my nerves. What am I going to do? What if they start shipping me and her together and... I'm home. Ah, <sighs> finally. Home sweet home. I better boot up the game and grab some blue bowl to hype me up for tonight's session. After I grabbed my snacks, my drink, and logged into my favorite game, I checked to see if the gang was online. Usually around this time, they're all off work and taking care of whatever they need to do. And would you look at that? I was right. Everyone already started to raid a dungeon without me. <laughs> Those cocky little bastards. How do they expect to get past the boss without the support of their number one level 78 dragoon? After all, I'm the one who has to carry everyone. Not to brag, but, you know, it's kind of true. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just too popular today. <laughs> and so I went and started playing with the guys for what felt like hours. Eventually, the topic about what happened to me today came up, and like I predicted, DK teased me about it. Figures. While in the middle of a raid, a notification saying that Amare is now online appeared in the lower right corner of my game. Without thinking twice, I told my friends that I needed to go, and I'll make it up to them next time. I'm sure they were confused. I'm not the kind of person to just bail on them that early. Usually, it's the other way around. Oh well, this was important to me, and to be honest, talking to Amare makes me really happy. Something about her just makes me feel good about myself. Maybe it's her charm of being so positive about everything. I don't know. But right before I was about to send my first message to her, she messaged me. I was taken by surprise. Now that I think about it, why don't I just invite her to join our group's guild? I'm sure the guys would be down with someone new. Especially Tintin. I swear, that dude is hopeless with girls.
Well, that sucks. She can't join our guild and go on raids with us. But I'm pretty sure she could still join a party and chat for a bit. I'll see what she thinks about that. What a weird girl. I mean, this would be a good opportunity for her to learn more, but I guess she really is that shy about it. Nothing I can do about it, I guess. And so we spent a good four to five hours grinding away through the dungeons until she leveled up by at least ten levels. She finally obtained some pretty good gear. All thanks to me, of course. But my condescending attitude would soon come to an end after I felt the need to consume food. Food that I didn't have because I already ate my week's supply. Well shit. And with that, I logged out of the game and prepared myself for another night out into the wild streets of Tokyo. Not really wild, but, you know, just me exaggerating a bit. After a couple of minutes of walking, I reached the Kambini. At this point, my stomach was killing me, yelling out that it wants food right now. I held my stomach as a way to shut it up, but it kept pestering me with its rumblings. My only hope is that no one hears it as I check out. My eyes gravitated towards the frozen food aisle, where they had bentos of all kinds. It was hard to decide since everything looked so good and at this point, I'd eat almost anything put in front of my face. I decided to go with the Katsudon Bento. Luckily for me, it was marked down so I didn't need to pay full price. Ha, <laughs> sweet! On the way to checkout, I decided to grab some energy drinks to fuel me up for tonight's grind with Amare. As I reached over, a girl's hand reached out as well. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's you again. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Huh. Yeah. It's kind of funny how we keep bumping into each other. Here to grab something to eat? Uh, w well, uh, I guess you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a long night for me, so I wanted to grab some energy drinks. I assume the same goes for you, too? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, the boss looked over your application before we closed up the shop today and said he likes what he sees so far. Odds are you'll probably get the job. Uh, uh really? That, that's great. Yeah, so hopefully I'll see you around soon. Y yeah. <laughs> so, do you live around here, or...? I never actually had a one-to-one -one conversation with a girl for this long before. What am I supposed to do? I'm not ready to talk casually with someone just yet. She might think I'm weird. Ah, <laughs> shit. I had better bail before it drags on longer than I can handle. Oh, uh... Actually... I... I have to get going. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were in a rush. And here I am holding you from doing your thing. <laughs> sorry about that. At the very least, it was nice to see you again. Uh, no. It's okay. But, yeah. Thanks. See you around. And without another word, I quickly paced away from the community and went home. I was impressed by how long I held a conversation. I guess it helped that I already kinda knew her from the cafe. But even so, I was still impressed. It's been a long time since I actually had a meaningful conversation. I never really had friends throughout school because everyone thought I was a weirdo for sitting by myself. It didn't help that my brother went to the same school so no one really cared about me. The only times anybody would strike up a conversation is if they needed me to pass along a message to my older brother. Hell, the girls would just use me to get to him. This girl from the cafe was the first girl that talked to me without having any ulterior motives. It was actually really nice. By the time I finished my thoughts, I reached home. My mind quickly drifted away and started to shift focus onto my computer. 
Amare is probably waiting for me. I bet she's going to be upset that I took too long, even though I said I was going to be quick. But first things first, I need to prep my food and get a drink. After a few minutes, I had everything set up and hopped onto my game again to resume my adventure. Or whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's see. Where are you, Amare? Just as I thought, she was upset that I took a bit, but that's how it is, I guess. I didn't think she would try to attempt a dungeon without me, but she had it coming. <sighs> what am I going to do with her? Oh yeah, I, I really want to tell her about my big accomplishment today. Not trying to show off, but I think I'm pretty sleek with the ladies. As soon as we finish off the boss monster of the dungeon we were storming through, I brought up a conversation about my day. What's Amade's problem? Why is she so pissed off about this? You would think she would be happy for me or something, but upset? Is she on her thing or something? I just don't understand, girls. I better change the conversation before she gets mad at me for no reason. new message. Oh, it's the guys. They want to do a raid together. Ha, <laughs> nice. Oh man, it's the new dungeon that just came out. I heard that it has pretty sweet drops. I think Amare is at a high enough level to join. Wait, what? Where did she go? Did she just... logged off? Seriously? Is she that opposed to playing with the guys? Sheesh. I guess it was a bad idea to ask her. What am I going to do? I can't just spend all my time with her. I mean, she's cool and all, but still. <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll ask her some other time. With that, I just switched over to join the guys. I couldn't really focus after what just happened with Amare. I guess it's what you call being worried. I don't know what to do. After a while, I called it quits and went to bed until my daily routine repeats once again. <laughs> 